Welcome to Michael's Beer Review. Tonight I'm reviewing Samuel Adams Light. Had, I like their Samuel Adams Boston Lager. And I'll try this, and there's a lot of good reviews on it. And uh, we'll see what we have. I like light beer. There's nothing wrong with light beer. There's nothing wrong with a dinner light beer. You don't want to get drunk. And um, it's not a bad style. People hate it for some, for some odd reason because they want to get drunk. But I've seen people, you know, hate on light beers. They're not bad. Actually, this is a darker than I actually thought it was going to be. This is a dark, light beer. Looks like a lighter Sammy Adams. It smells like a Sammy Adams, but it's a lighter smell to it. No much head. Well, I'm not getting that much head today, but yeah, it's a personal thing. So, cheers. Caramel malts. I think caramely, they get light. Lighter than. Not much hops. To, not much hops. It's got a caramel, like a more of a malt caramely. Yeah, you get some kiss of the hops there. Samuel Adams light. It does taste like Samuel Adams though. Lighter version. I had this before and I didn't like it, but this tasted pretty good. Yeah, it tastes like a Samuel Adams, a lighter version of it. How would I rate this? <laughs> For light beer, that's what I rate it as. I'd rate this pretty high. Goes down smooth, crisp, clean, refreshing. Body's pretty, pretty heavy for a light beer. Has some body to it, uh, which I like. You know, some beers don't have a lot of body, and they don't taste that good. But this one has some body to it. For light beer. Huh. First time I had it, I didn't like it. I don't know how to rate this. <laughs> For light beer. I give it a... Uh, it's up there with Bud, White, Bud Light. Miller Light. I give it a... Maybe an A, I don't know. It's 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 tasting good. Dry finish. Oh, I might give it a A minus. The first time I didn't like it, I don't think I had it um it tasted right. I said pour it out. But A minus. I take this before um with light beers, Coors Light especially, uh, Natural Light, it's horrible, um, Keystone Light, this had lots more taste than that, but I like Miller Light, I, they're, they're in between Miller Light, this has a different taste than Miller Light, Miller Light's more sweeter, this is more of a complex sweetness to it, um, again, I'd, I'd give this an A-, up there with Miller, and I'd take this over Bud Light too. Between this and light Miller Light, because I like light Miller Light too, I'd give that an A. It'd be a tie. Either I like malty or a grainy beer. You want a malty, kind of a hoppy little hops or, or some bitterness? I'd take this. If I want a sweeter beer, I'd take Miller Light. 
both of them are A's. But light beers are not something, um, or something just to appreciate, you know. If you, you have a light beer, people say, well, light beer is horrible. I have no taste. This has some good taste. I'd be surprised. It's up there with some, some regular lagers. <laughs> Which shouldn't be, but it is. So, nothing wrong with light beers, you know. If you uh, just want to drink a couple and you want to get filled up, I would especially buy this. Again, if I was at a, a bar and I want to drink a light beer, I'd drink this for sure. A minus, maybe an A, but A minus for now. And, uh, Again, I would take this over natural light, maybe Corona light. I would take it over. I like Amstel light though, and I like Miller light. I take this for sure over um, Coors light. Coors is this uh, sparkling water with some alcohol, but this is a good, a good, good beer. And uh, try it. Let me know. Uh, subscribe, comments, questions. I'll talk to you again. Thanks for watching.